Hi friends, in this video we will see based on condition uh, whether we want to execute query 1 or query 2. We will see how we can uh, do that. So if condition gets satisfied, execute query 1, else execute query 2. So if this condition itself it can also be a SQL. So in this video we will see how we can do it. And uh, so do I do conduct uh, one to one online training in these areas. So feel free to reach out to me if you have any. If you need my support, okay. So I'm connected here. So first try, first try I will try to write a condition using. Uh, so let's say this is the condition. Uh, I'm going to try it out with all, uh, all things with the uh, real uh, table. So from real, let's say so that so let's say all and from real means okay. So this will uh, return zero. So now this I will write as condition for it. Condition for it as this. Okay. So now I will say select first query. Okay. From dual. Okay. So the alias is going to be query one. And then I'll say query one comma condition query where condition underscore query dot where is equal to zero union of I can have a second query written in the same way. This is the second query. Okay. And I can say condition where not equal to zero. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Right, run this. So what you see is since the value is zero, the output we are getting is first query. If the value is not zero, you will see the second query is getting executed. So using this simple technique. Right, so we can make sure that we execute either query one or query two. So this can be right instead of select the query from DL. This can be your actual application query. Okay, query uh, two, query two changes. This can be your actual uh, SQL query over here. So here we visit with your query one, query two, and this is where the condition is going to come. So we can use it with plus. You can do it. There are other ways also to do it. So this is one of the ways by which we can easily achieve the if condition, value of the if condition. So I change it back to zero. If I run now, you see if the output will be the first query output. Okay. Thank you.